particularly for this reason, and you have to watch it. It's where I did the 1,000-pound uh, rack jerk. What you got to do is watch the right arm because I was put under tremendous strain. That's one of the things that will make it trigger. I pick the weight up, and I'm holding it, but the, you will notice the right arm continues to pull to where the right side is higher than the left. So it starts to wobble a little bit almost. Wow. Right. I was just about to lose it in my left hand as the right hand continued to pull to pull upward. And I don't think that's so noticeable in the one where you're lifting 1,200 pounds, though. It's not. It's, it's the old one. It's the first one. Okay. And the thing about all those weightlifting videos, I was urged to put those up after we found out a couple of things. Um, we knew about my neck. My neck was shattered at uh, C2, 3, and 4. And, you know, a couple of the top neurosurgeons in the country, whatever, told me that basically I would remain part, at minimal, I would, I would remain partially paralyzed in my right side. And within three to five years would be like 80% paralyzed. That's how severe the damage was and still is to my neck, spinal cord, and the neck and whatnot. And when we were doing the x-rays for the True TV show with Ventura, out of the blue, I decided to have them go ahead and x-ray my spine. This was a revelation for us. We did not know that the right side of my spine from C5 down to about L2 had been crushed. Oh, my. You can see it on the x-rays. The whole, every vertebrae on, my, on the, my right side, the right side of my spine, have been crushed. You can see it plain as day. It's like taking Play-Doh and making a spinal column and taking something, putting it on the right side and pressing down. That's what it looks like. Mm. And there's bone chips all the way down. And what that did... For us, is it at least partially confirmed a memory that we had of a crash that I was in several years ago, to where part of the fuselage landed on my back. Oh man! Now we'd never had any proof of that. Well, I think the X-rays are at least marginal proof. Yeah, I would think so. Yeah, it's actually amazing and that you're still walking. Yeah. Well, that, yeah, that's the reason wow. for uh, the weightlifting videos. That's the implants taking over. That's not me. That's the implants. And another thing that Duncan doesn't talk about a lot, which I'd really like to mention, is this man is in constant, constant, overwhelming, horrific pain 24-7. All the time. With, I mean with the crushed spine, with the crushed neck, with everything else. He lives with pain every day. Yeah. That first show, he was talking about that and how he was pretty much, his best friend was Tylenol. You know, he was like living on the on the painkillers because he was just really having a rough time. And especially back then, uh, he couldn't figure it out because this was all new. And he was just starting to get the flashes and just starting to put the pieces together. Uh, he, you know, he had, he had known about some of it years before, but never to the extent he was starting to get at that time, and that's when he was really starting to understand the pain. But you're right. He had told us about the excruciating agony that he was in. It was sometimes hard for him even to just drive a, a little bit to get some milk. You know, it was just impossible for him yeah. to, yeah. It's, it just makes everything that much harder, you know. It, it's just so bad. It's frustrating. Yeah, I mean, that's just that's terrible. That's just terrible. Yeah, but on the flip side of that, Axe lives with her own intense pain. Yeah, I do too. I do. Well, what's that about, Axe? Um, I have a... Well, I mean, I don't know, actually, to be honest. I I was in a car accident, like I said, a few years ago, uh, where I was rear-ended by a truck pulling a motor home while I was leaning forward. And um, I, I tried to recover from that, but... Uh, 
it seems to have triggered actually a case of Lyme disease, which I thought I didn't know anything about Lyme disease. I didn't realize that it was uh, created by Nazis, brought over by Project Paperclip uh, over to Plum Island there on the East Coast. Uh, by the way, read Lab 257 if you want to know more about that. Uh, anyway, I got very, very sick and uh, have just been in excruciating pain since, and nothing's been able to touch it. It's really unbelievable on some levels that this is real. But, you know, on Nightwatch since day one, my motto is to be completely open-minded about everything and every guest. And the one thing I learned from Duncan the very first time going into it, I didn't know what to expect, and it's the sincerity. And, Axe, you have the same thing. I'm, I'm hearing it in your voice, the sincerity, uh, the, the, the real life that's going on here and it's easy to dismiss this uh as as crazy but the truth is i'm learning every show uh truth is stranger than fiction and it's really really true that it is and you guys are living proof of that and uh we're almost out of time and before we go i really want to get all your information out there and all the things you wanted to promote for people to check out okay um i start with uh, our website which is very simple it's just duncanofinnan.com and on the top of the page you will find a link to the light warrior academy the light warrior academy was the brainchild of sensei bill handel and what town is he in in California? I, I, I can never remember. What, I don't know what county he's in. He's, he's up near Red Bluff. Okay. Coast of Mount Shasta, up, up in that area. And the Light Warrior Academy is something <clears throat> he has uh, asked us to help him with. And <clears throat> no way we're going to turn this down. And it's a combination of uh, different martial arts, hand-to-hand, um, along with some uh, sword training, stick fight fighting, and all the meditations, uh, energy work, uh, Reiki, uh, et cetera, et cetera. It, it's all on on the, the Light uh, Warrior webpage. And what we're trying to do is give people, basically who, let's say the people who have, are already awake, or waking up to what's really going on around them, what we want to do is give them some tools to work with. And that's what the Light Warrior Academy is. You're not going to learn anything fancy. You're not going to learn jump spinning heel kicks or any nonsense like that that you're not <laughs> going to use for real anyway. Okay, As Axis said, what we were called was practical tactical. Right, and that's what we were exactly trained what in. Exactly, yep. and that's exactly what we're going to be training people in. It's practical, tactical. It's what works. There you go. Well, that's it's really... all there on yeah. uh, the front page. Just click on that link, boom, take you straight to it. Uh, there should be a bio there of uh, Bill Handel, and our bios will be going up shortly. Yeah, Bill and is a great go- guy, by the way. He's yes, wonderful. He's, he's helped us out, and we trust him completely. He has helped us out so much. He's really impressed us, and we just love him to death. And the main website uh, for is lightwarrioracademy.com. Lightwarrioracademy.com, okay. Mm-hmm. And the first seminar will take place in May in Los Angeles. Uh, I think we're pushing for the second one to be in June in Las Vegas, and the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, right on. We don't know yet. We're going to try to do six shows this year and 12 next year. Yeah, and this is all hands-on stuff. I mean, this is all stuff that people are going to be doing themselves. It's not boring sitting in a classroom type stuff. That would be good. Yeah, well, we well, wanted to, I mean, we had a lot of negative experience with what we went through, but we want to turn around and make it a positive. And there are lots of positive things that, that we can do and help people with because of our training, and this is a perfect venue to do some of that. That's true. Exactly right. And like I said, everything that we're going to be teaching, and we will be doing um, the instructing, uh, I get to teach the uh, kickboxing well, Duncan, it has been an honor, my friend. Thank you for choosing us to be your your farewell interview for a while, and thank you for always being such an amazing friend, for always blowing my mind. Axe, it's been a 
fantastic time meeting you here and talking to you. And I, I look forward to bringing you both back on as soon as you're ready to do another interview. Since you're kind of doing yeah. a farewell now, we get to be the return. Thank Absolutely. you so much, Todd. It was really great. I really appreciate it so much. Well, you, anytime, you guys. And Duncan, seriously, you take care of yourself, my friend. Yeah. No, we will. <clears throat> you take care of yourself and watch out tomorrow. Oh yeah, I'm looking for the. I'm looking out these great big bay windows right now for the Men in Black. I think we're okay for tonight. So, uh, well, thank you very much, guys. You guys have a wonderful evening. Yeah. You, you too. too. Good night. Thanks again. Uh huh. You're welcome.